So before we get started in this video, uh, I mean it's obvious you can see I've changed this color scheme of Sublime Text. Um, the color scheme is the same as the GitHub website uh, uses to uh, highlight source code. So um, tell me what you think, if you like it or not, if you want me to use the old color scheme, uh, I'll switch back to it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be evaluating expressions. So if I uh, go here, you can see we have our expression here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the brackets because the brackets make things get really complicated if we want to evaluate um, expressions within brackets. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using precedence, uh, but it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be whenever uh, I implemented it ahead of time. So what it does is that mean, or what that means is um, we do multiplication and division ahead of subtraction. So this is the exact same as putting brackets around it like this, but we're just going to get rid of the brackets for now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get rid of the hello world because that just compl over complicates things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this code now, uh, Python 3. Uh, basic.py and then test.lang you can see it just outputs our expression so you can see here when we output when we output just the contents of an expression all we do is we get rid of the where the character is the beginning of an expr colon which is what the extra numbers for and then we output that but what we're going to do before we output it is we're going to evaluate it so we're going to create an evaluate expression function Like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to just define the function uh, and then what we're going to do first is we're going to um, store the expression in a variable called the XPR and then we're going to return uh, got it uh, comma and I'll just put in the XPR to uh, show you a difference you can see it says got it and then it gives us the expression so this means it's going through a function so get rid of the return for now what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop that's going to loop through every character in the expression uh, and it's going to do it backwards because we're going to evaluate things from our expressions from right to left. So we're going to evaluate 2 times 4, we're going to get 8 and then we're going to say 8 plus 10 is 18 and that's how we're going to evaluate the expression. So to do that we have to create a variable called i. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create um, a variable called i and it's going to hold the length of our expression. Then what I'm going to do is say while uh, i is greater than 0, print expr uh, i. So the way Python treats uh, strings is similar to an array. So it's like an array of characters. So our expression is a string. So this means that if I just put our expression down below here, you can see uh, the number 10 or the number 1 would be would have an index of 0. Uh, then the 0 would have an index of 1, then the plus would have an index of 2, then the 2 would have an index of 3, the multiply would have an index of 4, and the 4 would have an index of 5. So this means we can access specific items or specific characters from the string by using the expr and providing it a number. So if I give it the number 4 or 4, we'd get the uh, asterisk. If I gave it the number 0, we would get the number 1 echoed out to us. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're just printing out each character in the string while well, in the expression. But uh, since, actually we'll just uh, run that now. Okay, so it says string index out of range. That's because strings start from, uh, because uh, the length of our expression is, uh, so our expression is six characters long. And what we're basically saying here is uh, while i is greater than zero, uh, we actually we forgot to decrement i as well so we say i minus equals 1 to uh, set i to to decrement i every time the uh, while loop runs but we also need to set i equal to then expr minus 1 because uh, the length expr is 6 but our um, since arrays start from 0 then the highest index that we can provide is 5 so we have to say minus 1 to make i equal to 5 at the beginning. So if we run this now, you can see it says 4 times 2 plus 0. And we're missing uh, the last character. Missing the 1 is because when i gets to z when, when i is uh, greater than 0, uh, this runs. But as soon as i equals 0, it stops and it doesn't run. So we just need to say greater than or equal to 0. And then we'll get uh, the 1 returned to us, or echoed out. Uh, in the list with all the other ones. The reason we get the word none underneath is because we haven't provided our function with a return type or uh, we haven't told it to return anything. 
so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through it now and we're going to sort of uh, assemble, we're going to put the numbers together. So for example, we have the number four, that's only one character long, so we don't need to do anything about that. And the asterisk is one character, the two is one character, and the plus is one character. But the number 10 is two characters, so uh, if we don't do anything, we're just going to see zero and one as two separate numbers, and we want them to be uh, the number 10. So we need to uh, have a way of uh, working with multiple digit numbers as well as single digit numbers. So what we're going to do first is we're going to say if uh, expr i is equal to a plus, then we're going to say it's an operator. Then we're going to say or uh, expr i is equal to a minus, or expr i is equal to uh, a divide, or expr i is equal to a multiply. And finally, or if it's equal to um, a modulus, which is a percent sign. Then we're going to print uh, XBRI. Then we're going to say else uh, print. Actually, we need to put this into a function, so we'll just put quotes or, or uh, we'll just put brackets around that. And we're just going to print a uh, number. So as you can see, it says number multiplied by number plus. Uh, number number but as you can see we only want that to be one number so what we're going to say is else if it's uh, a number uh, if it's a number what we're going to say is num plus equals expr i so we're going to have another variable up here called num and it's going to be equal to nothing to begin with and every time we see a number we're going to append it to the num variable and what we're going to do when we see an operator is we're going to set reset the num variable equal to zero or equal to nothing um, we're going to um, create a list as well actually up here. We're going to create a global list called EXBR, well, let's actually call it num uh, stack. So what we're going to do is when we, whenever we see an operator, we're going to know that uh, that's the end of a number. So we see the number four, then we've, append, we've added four to the num variable, and then we see an asterisk. So we know an asterisk isn't a number, so we know that uh, the num variable is full and we have to add it to the num stack. So we say num stack dot append, and we're going to append the variable num. Then what we're also going to do is we're going to append. Uh, what we're also going to append is the expr i, which in this case is an operator. So we're going to append an operator as well. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down here, and we're just going to print uh, num stack. Okay, uh, right, we just need to put this above here because we went out of the loop. So just put that there and we'll run this again. So as you can see, uh, okay, we have a problem with the, um, okay, the reason we're getting nothing is because we emptied the number before we appended it to the uh, stack. So we're just going to put that underneath and we'll run this again. So as you can see, it says 4 times 2 plus, and okay, we're missing the 10. The reason we're missing the 10 is because we use an operator as a delimiter to tell us uh, when we're at the end of an expression. But as you can see, after the 10, there's no delimiter, there's no operator. So the way we're going to uh, solve this is we're going to say, um, we're going to go down here and we're just going to say L if uh, exbr i is equal to, we're going to have a special character called end of expression, which is going to be E O E, end of expression. Then we're going to say num stack dot append num, and then we're going to say num stack, whoops, uh, we're going to say num uh, equals nothing to reset the num variable. So we're going to append the E O E variable or the E O E string at the end of an expression. So the way we're going to, well at the beginning of the expression since we evaluate it backwards. So what we're going to say is expr, uh, expr uh, equals end of expression um, plus expr. Okay, I'll actually I just realized this is more than one, this is more than one character. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put in um, an exclamation mark and we'll put a comma because that's not valid in an expression uh, ever. So we're going to put a comma in and we'll run this again and as you can see it says 01 but as you can see it's also backwards so what we need to do is we need to uh, reverse the uh, num variable 
How we do this is we're just going to say uh, num equals num and we're going to say colon colon minus one and this will reverse our string for us. So if we just come up here and paste it up here as well, it should reverse uh, the 10 so it's now a 10. So as you can see now we've just put that, we've put all our numbers in a list uh, and we're ready to evaluate them. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, follow us on Google Plus uh, and I'll see you next time.